Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today I'm reviewing from Mega House, uh, I believe their first foray into a transformable type of figure. This is the Mospeto Ride Armor, the stick and lay, or ray type, as you may, or as I really know them as Scott Bernard and Rand from Robotech, the new generation. But uh, we'll try not to get too confused. Anyway, so there's been a whole lot said about these guys, and honestly, I've been putting off shooting this video because um, transformation is a bit finicky and can actually be painful and extraordinarily frustrating. Um, not that it's overly complicated. It's not. It's actually very well designed. Um, in, if the parts and pieces stay down the way they're supposed to, it actually wouldn't have much in the way of part swapping, but much like Josh's review of the CM um, most beta ride armor, um, parts and pieces are going to go flying. To Mega House's credit, uh, nothing seems to really break. Well, something broke on him, but it's uh, luckily it's minor. I can still work around it, but it, it will be something I point out to you. So, um, I'm not going to give you a full fancy review here. This is not going to be pretty. You've been warned. So, uh, let's dive in. Alright, so first things first, kind of wanted to show you the figure. Um, lots been said about the look and the sort of the characterization of the characters. Uh, but all the joints are nice and tight, really, for the most part. Um, it's got some nice. A lot of, lot's been said actually about the uh, the joints here. Let me see if I can get that so you can see it. A lot of folks have complained about that, but the reality is those are designed so you can really get your arms in there and get them posed. And like you saw, he was straddling the bike pretty good. So, but you're not here to see me dawdle with figures. You're here to see me do some transformation. So, before we get going, let me pull those out. Much like if you had the original Gaken toy, these just they don't go as far as you think they're going to. But and here's the other trick. Well, it's not tricky, just something it's easy to miss in the um, instructions. The foot does kind of flip forward. There we go. Another nice thing is the feet are designed to sort of cock at an angle. They kind of lock that way. So, voila. So, we'll put him down for now. Now the entertainment really begins. So, I've already taken off the handlebars. Those do pop off. Let's just plug in right there. Now, the fun begins. Basically, you're going to take pretty much the arm guards are on a peg. Those just go right there. There's a little peg there. It sits in the there. to start getting floppy. So um, here's the big part swap. Not a big deal. That's actually, some folks have really gotten upset that that comes out and you know, yeah, that's part swapping. But you know, honestly, that's what actually gives it a nice solid feel in bike mode. Um, as finicky as, as finicky as this is about to get, um, this makes all the difference when it's, you know, it, it goes together real tightly in both modes and that's nice. So um, now we got to get these guys off. Now, there are two things that are holding this, by the way, there's a little kickstand. If you, if you get one and you're wondering what this little green curved piece is, it's a kickstand and it plugs into one of the little indents on the thigh armor. <coughs> Excuse me, fighting off a bit of a cold, so... 
there's a peg, goes in the hole, but if you look, there's supposed to be a little peg here. I broke that. Um, the paint made the part stick, and instead of very gently taking my time and working my way back with it, it kind of wiggled and just snapped. So, it's actually, what I ended up doing was, I ended up swapping, let's see, now here's, this one's actually got the full peg in. So there we go. Just take your time with it and it will come out. So, boom. So we've got two thigh pieces in the forearm guards. So there you go. Hypothetically, those are the only pieces, well, technically the shoulders are going to come off too, but they go right back on, so I don't know if that really counts. But, um, so far so good. Now, that comes down. You know, in case I haven't mentioned, this is all plastic. i got to say, I do like the design quite a bit. I like the look. I think they captured the cartoon really well. I'm just going to take those off. We'll come back to them a little later on. Hypothetically, you could leave them on and navigate around them, but we're not going to do that. So, um, It is made of all plastic, so it's very, very light. And then those put down. Now... Is that I'm going to be able to do this without making 15 pieces fly off? So what I'm doing here, by the way, and not explaining, is there's these are the pegs. The shoulder guards are actually going to go on. They flip out. They come out relatively easily. They do. They are in a sort of a slide, so you can just kind of pull them out. But I don't recommend doing that. All right. So I just separated the fuselage. If you ever had the old Gaikin, this is very very similar. And ta-da, our first casualty. So hypothetically, those are supposed to just slide apart. But uh, I'm not even going to bother with it at this point. So what you do need to do, though, take those around. Don't worry, they go back on. And see, that's like the big part right there. That, I don't know why that one, that these these coming off so easily really bum me out. Now, you can take your time and slide the pieces apart, but because it's plastic, it kind of sticks, and that's actually what ends up causing the parts to pop off. See, they're just on a little hinge designed to come out, so, you know, granted, it all goes back together nicely, but I'm a little disappointed. So while I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and slide that tab all the way over as well, and we'll come back to those in a moment. A uh, tip about the windshield. Even though in the cartoon, when this sits on the rider, this does fold down this way. The toy it does not do this. Trying to force that will break it. It does, however, go back that way. So, kind of, you know, give you room to clear things. Alright, so now here's where the fun really begins. So I'm going to flip the gas tank there up. I'm going to rotate. And here's where the directions really are not clear, and you may end up seeing me fighting with this. Also, while I'm here, I want to show you uh, another part that fell off, though. It looks like it can be repaired. Engine detail here. Kind of popped off during my first transformation. So, uh, again, fixable. I uh, just haven't gotten, had the patience or the time to get around to doing it. So, there we go, we get ourselves up there. What the directions aren't very clear about is the what happens with the engine here. That is supposed to just kind of slide in. However, it's got to be like at just the right depth, otherwise things don't fit together right. Then you push the tailpiece in. That plugs in. That took me like six transformations before I realized what I was doing wrong with that. All right. So, at this point, I'm just going to bring these around. And I know that some of my friend collectors have expressed fears about that, but so far it's been pretty good. It does come out. Just a ball socket. Hi, I broke it. No, just kidding. There we go, back in. I just want to show that. So, 
uh, parts and you know they're going to be dangling, dangling wheel jets. But so far so good. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and try and get the shoulder pieces on. Remember the peg goes on the outside. Oh, apparently I pushed those in the wrong direction. See now that just wants to flat out come out. There we go. And where did the other piece go? So yeah, obviously if you were expecting a stay together in one piece kind of toy, this, as you can see, is not it at this point. So basically at this point you're just going to reach in and grab the hinge and flip it forward. This just kind of, it's going to be hard to see in the video, but get in your home. There you go. And pretty much you can just bring the kind of fits down. If you've spaced it out enough, there's supposed to be a little peg hole that fits in there, but it kind of lines up, kind of doesn't. It doesn't really seem to matter much, so. And uh, do the same with this guy. Come on out. Go over that way. Like I was saying, yeah, if you're looking for an all-in-one toy, uh, fortunately Mega House didn't deliver on that count. Alright, so we got it in. Gonna get the shoulder pieces back on. And yeah, pretty much there's just a peg hole in. There's a peg hole in there. So trying to do this behind the camera is not graceful. So yeah, so you basically you end up with something that's on a hinge, so when you get the figure in there and you want to put them in more dramatic poses, you've got the room to move that around, which is kind of what happens in the cartoon. It doesn't actually go there, but when they move their arms around, of course, the arm reflexes and bends in ways it probably shouldn't, and there you go. Alright, so that's pretty much that as far as getting this bad boy ready. Um, basically, inside, and it's going to be hard to see, there is a little nub there. That, in theory, is going to line up with the indentation on his back. It kind of works, it kind of doesn't. Um, Pretty much at this point, I'm going to bring these guys around. And again, there's just some peg holes, and they line up there on the side of the fuel tank. And you just push them in. Yes, I'll get to the vents in a moment. Voila. By the way, wheels do turn, just not very easily. But they do indeed turn. So let's destroy that fallacy right there. Alright, we're pretty much ready for uh, Rand to put this thing on. So, the only thing you gotta do for him now is just gonna. Oh no, we'll pop his face off! Oh wow. By the way, that does just go right back together. I don't think that's supposed to come apart like that, but it did. Line up. Anyway, I was going to put his helmet on anyway, so here we go. Pretty much got him ready to go, I think. Uh, also, something I did not point out, but I should. They did not put a swivel below the elbow here. So you've got a swivel up here above the elbow, just below the bicep. So what happens is when you get the arm guards on, they, they kind of don't sit in the right spot, which is particularly important with uh, Rand. Also the other thing to note is the arm guards attached to a peg hole there. However, these do pop off and there are peg holes for that too. That's a little irritating. 
Um, again, fixable. You want just a real ever so slight dab of crazy glue. I'm sure we'll fix that. But hey, am I a toy designer? I don't know these things. So anyway, what happens is Rance is supposed to be able to sit on the side of his arm. with the gun over his hand. But the way they've designed this, it can't be done. It sits on the back and you can't so they actually designed it so you can take the gun off. And they give you a spare cover to put. So they kinda cheat, which is lame. I mean really it would have been that much more difficult to add like, you know, one more point of articulation in the arm, really. But again, I'm no master toy designer. How do I know these things? Well, I'm going to pop his hand off, get his gun hand in. They give you a bunch of hands. They give you a... Um, Scott comes with his gun attached in his hand, much like the CM. A little lame, I thought. Same. Just trying to get the gun in and forearms popping off. There you go, you can cheat and kind of make it look. figure, in theory, just slides right in. And yeah, everything seems to have lined up just right the first time. Alright. Better than the last time I tried to do this. So, while we've got that there, I'm just going to pop his head on. See, it's going well. There we go. And then lastly, we got the little side pieces. These always fly off on me when I try and get them in. Oh, look at that. That is the exception, not the rule. Then same for the other side. There's a little tab hole there that the uh, parts fit in. Sometimes I'll give them a pinch there just to make sure everything stays. And uh, I'm just going to get the thigh armor on and we've got ourselves a transformed right armor. I'll give you a couple pegs to flip, flip out there. Again, I think design choice made so that you can pose them and move them. And not a bad idea. Just plug right in on the side. By the way, I apologize for the sound of traffic outside. I have yet again moved. For those who didn't know, I've been moving the last couple of months. Uh, life circumstances changed, and uh, I'm currently staying somewhere where I'm literally right next to a major lake route. So, uh, can't do anything about that. Alright, so there you go. Now, here's the good, here's the bad. The bad. You're very bottom heavy, of course, with this design. Some folks are reporting they've had absolutely no problems posing these guys um, in armored mode. Yeah, I can see maybe if you get some really extreme poses. Um, all in all, though, you're really going to need the stand. Um, a little disappointed that they didn't make this so the bright armor kind of clipped in there, um, like it does on the show and in the original Gakin toy, but, you know, it's a nitpick. Um, once he's got it on, I mean, it looks good, like it, like I showed you on the stand, you know, looks decent, um, but as you can see, an incredibly finicky. Hey, look at that, I made him stand. But your posability is very limited, so the reality is, yeah, if you want them to look pretty and be sturdy, you're gonna you're gonna need to stand. Uh, something I did kind of want to show you here. 
Sorry, Rand. They give you two attachments. They give you this little curve piece that is on a joint angle, which you think, oh, that would be a great idea. Unfortunately, its execution is miserable. Um, you're supposed to be able to pose them flying with that. Good luck with that. I'll set it up and cut it in. And, of course, this is just designed to hold the backpack up. Um, lining this up, the instructions kind of show it like this. But I have found that uh, it doesn't quite hold the armor straight up if you do it that way. They give you a little peg hole. It may be hard to see in the video, but this peg hole, or uh, peg, I should say, and a peg hole on his foot. And almost ran out of video. Um, basically, put that there. It doesn't quite reach everything the way it's supposed to. And it makes him kind of lean back. So I kind of flip those around. So for my final thoughts, you know, I really like them for what they are. Um, do wish they had done a couple things differently, you know, if the front cowling didn't fall off as much, all the other little niggly things about it that took a little getting used to probably wouldn't bother me as much. But uh, the fact that they're doing all the characters from the series, you know, there are more coming, they're going to be doing the red uh, female ride armor, and they're going to be doing the uh, blue with the missile bays in the chest, um, yellow dancer style, and uh, or uh, yellow Beaumont, I should say. And uh, Leroy Jackson, I guess this is his real, real name, but um, they look good. Stands are fairly useful um, as I'm kind of shooting this in bits and pieces, and you know, I want to kind of be fair. This is actually, you know, if you're not afraid to move that around and flip it from the different ways, you can actually get these guys to hold a nice, you know, I just want to show that there is some... You know, and I had to cheat a little bit to get his arm to look right, so... But all in all, they look really good. They look so mu very much like the cartoon. And, uh... I just wanted to show... They do give you, with both of them, they give you the targeting scope, which is the snap-on piece as well. Um, of course... I didn't show this earlier. The helmets do open. In case you're curious, besides the color of the sleeves, the gauntlets are missiles for stick. He comes with the gun. It's attached to his hand. Luckily, it hasn't fallen out. I like them. They're not for everybody. I know everyone's waiting for the be-all, end-all toy. Uh, something to trump the gake. And, uh, if you're looking for that all-in-one wow, kind of solid. Someone needs to do that, but combine both the aesthetic and the um, flexibility and posability of something like the Mega House here. Um, I think it succeeds more than the CMs, in my opinion. I don't own the CMs, but I have handled Josh's, and uh, yeah, I was very turned off very quickly. These have actually grown on me quite a bit, so don't let the finicky transformation get you, you know. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to look good and be able to get the whole team up there, yeah, I think so, but yeah, for all everybody else, it's it's definitely stay away. Um, you know, at this point, folks, you know what you're getting before you buy it. So if you have a real problem with the part swapping and all of that, and yep, stay stay far far away. But otherwise, I like. <coughs> I did want to show you brand. Um, there were no sticker sheets. There's been some um, conversation about the sticker sheets and stickers. Um, apparently, are only given out at retail in Japan. Um, you didn't get them if you mailed away for the figure set. Um, so, sadly, no sticker sheet, but as you can see, Scott's got adequate enough detailing. Rand looks a bit, uh, plain in comparison, but all in all, not bad. But Rand does come with, and I haven't taken them off yet, I apologize, I want to shoot the photos before I do that, so... I'm not going to show them that, but they do give you containers. This is a frame you attach to the bike so that the containers 
can attach. And apparently they do have little hatches that are going to open. They even include some, like a canteen, some food rations. Unfortunately, all the food rations are uh, molded in the same color. So all you hobbyists, this is for you. Um, you never know, I may actually break out a paintbrush and color these up a little bit. Um, but check the written review. Uh, the written review will probably be up a few days after the video goes live just because um, I'm working a lot this week and uh, can't quite get it all done. I want to give you guys the proper attention, so that's why I don't want to take those apart yet. Um, other than that, I think I've pretty much covered it all. There wasn't much left to show you. Didn't want to do the deep dive on the packaging and whatnot. You know, I didn't think it was important. Read the written review for all of that. So, um, yeah. If you, for some, if you're a diehard Mospeda nut and you really like the characters and you really want to get a whole set of them um, in all the different ride armor, you know, it, it's good. And I didn't really show it in the video, but the bike mode is solid. Like I showed you at the very, very beginning, you know, the, the character sits on the bike and he stays on the bike. So, um, the wheels do roll, but not real well. And, eh, to be honest, it, it, it's a small point. I almost think, uh, you know, if uh, Mega House could see it in their heart to do a die-cast DX version of this release, I gotta say, they'd have a real nice toy on their hands if they made a couple little subtle changes. Um... I'd also suggest putting a peg hole here in the cod piece so that this can snap in there to give it a little more of a... But um, other than that, I liked them. Not for everybody. It is what it is. Till next time, I'm Adam. Thanks for watching. Bye.